informally proving that the limit as x approaches two of x squared minus four x equals negative four, let epsilon greater than zero be arbitrary, determine delta as a function of epsilon. Let's begin by reviewing the formal definition of a limit. The definition of the limit as x approaches a of f of x equals l is that for every given number epsilon greater than zero, there's a number delta greater than zero so that if x is within delta units of a and x doesn't equal a, meaning x would be in this interval here between a minus delta and a plus delta where x doesn't equal a, then f of x is within epsilon units of l, meaning f of x is in this interval here from l minus epsilon to l plus epsilon. We can also state this using absolute value inequalities. Remember, absolute value represents distance. So equivalently, the absolute value of f of x minus l, meaning the distance between f of x and l is less than epsilon units whenever the absolute value of x minus a, the distance between x and a, the value we're approaching, is less than delta and greater than zero. So we can use these two absolute value inequalities to determine a relationship between epsilon and delta. So going back to our problem, we would have the absolute value of f of x minus l less than epsilon, which would be the absolute value of the quantity x squared minus four x, and then minus l, which we know is negative four. So we have minus negative four, which becomes plus four, must be less than epsilon whenever the absolute value of x minus a, which would be the absolute value of x minus two must be less than delta and greater than zero. We can develop a relationship between epsilon and delta using these two absolute value inequalities. So looking on the left here, if we drop our parentheses, we have the absolute value of x squared minus four x plus four less than epsilon. This is a perfect square trinomial, so we have the absolute value of the quantity x minus two squared less than epsilon. And now if we take the square root of both sides of this absolute value inequality, we'd have the absolute value of one factor of x minus two less than the square root of epsilon. And this is a relationship that we need. Notice how here we have the absolute value of x minus two is less than the square root of epsilon. And on the right we have the absolute value of x minus two is less than delta. So now we know that the absolute value of x minus two, the distance between x and two, the value we're approaching, must be greater than zero and less than delta, which can equal the square root of epsilon. And this is the relationship we're looking for. The question says determine delta as a function of epsilon. So now we know for any epsilon greater than zero, delta can equal the square root of epsilon. I hope you found this helpful.